invades Taiwan, it's Australia and the U.S. that got to defend Taiwan. Now here's the thing, and we haven't had this discussion, and we need to talk to y'all about this a little bit. But let's just be honest right now. How confident are we that we're going to be able to know who's who, right? Like, let's just... Sydney yesterday, first thing we did, off the plane, immediately, Bondi Beach. Now, incredibly excited to go to Bondi, I've been waiting two years to go to Bondi Beach. Not because of like the natural beauty, don't give a fuck. Not because of the chicks in the bikinis, don't give a fuck. I came to Australia for one reason, because I wanted to see a full grown Indian man Walk into the ocean with jeans and socks on, okay? Listen, I didn't believe it was real. I did not believe it was a real thing. I'm like, this has got to be set up at Bondi Rescue. There's no fucking way. There's no way the Indians park their Uber, get out in the same outfit, and walk straight into the ocean, and then just fucking float to New Zealand. They don't even... Every Indian in New Zealand started at Bondi Beach. Australia's been wild, man. I saw people protesting the Israel-Palestine war, man. That was, that was wild, bro. All these white Australians out there, give them back their land. <laughs> I saw these aboriginals on the grass, like, what the? Give who back their land? We don't even want the land, we want you to increase the center lake. Just increase the center. And how expensive fuel is, I can't even afford to sniff it anymore. It's... Bro, we started out west. We started out in, uh, in Perth. We got Perth in the building, we got Western Australia in the building. You guys know Rotto, everybody here knows Rotto's Island. Obviously very cool. I wanted more than anything to go check out the islands. I wanted to, you know, see those adorable little creatures they got covering the island. I believe you guys call them the Chinese. So, they're the cutest little things. You can walk right up to them and tickle them and take a selfie, pet them, bro. Don't feed them, though. You can't feed them. Because they bite, and if they bite you, you start buying apartments up in Sydney. It's crazy, bro. It's so crazy what happens, bro. Bro, there's so many Chinese people on Rodness Island. The quackas are starting to change, bro. They don't even smile anymore. They go, ha, 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 ha. They come. <laughs> Chinese are taking over Rado, bro. They don't even call it Rodness Island. They call it Taiwan. It's, it's like... <laughs> that Taiwan shit is tricky, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Because Australia, you know, if China invades Taiwan, it's Australia and the U.S. that got to defend Taiwan. Y'all know that, right? Now here's the thing, and we haven't had this discussion, and we need to talk to y'all about this a little bit. But let's just be honest right now. How confident are we that we're going to be able to know who's who, right? Like, let's just... That's a reasonable question, right? Once China touches land, it's gonna be the Spider-Man meme. Like. We're gonna have to do shirts and skins for that one, though. We gotta do... China, you guys will be shirts, obviously, because that's where they're made. And... Do you think you could tell a Taiwanese, bro? Just by looking at it? We need to learn that shit. Or come up with another strategy. I don't even want to tell y'all. Strategy. The second the war starts, we gotta tell every Taiwanese, listen, just for this period of time, open them up. Just, just for this period of time. Okay? It's like Friday Night Lights. Round eyes, full hearts, can't lose, okay? America, you beautiful pill-popping, gender-swapping, fentanyl-snorting, basic 
exploring, right swiping, stepmom piping champions of the world. I've missed you. I've taken the life tour all over the world. I've crossed more borders than a Chinese spy balloon, or as they call them in Montana, a sky dumpling. <laughs> and now it's time to come back to the greatest country in the world. America, baby! In 2024, the life tour is coming all over America. Like Josh Giddy watching Toddlers in Tierras. And there's one rule, everyone gets these jokes. Hey, your haircut stinks. I'm clearly trying to film something over here. Who cut your hair? Michael J. Fox in an ice bath? Shut up and put the music back on. Thank you. I'll see you there. No, no, really, I'm going to stop playing characters. It's really hard to defend. It really fucking sucks, dude.